Hello, and thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. So today I'll be sharing with you my grocery haul. So what did I pick up? How much did I spend? If you're curious to see, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this Gourmet on a Budget channel. It can be a recipe, a taste test, a grocery shopping trip, or a haul. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, turn it on to all, so that way you are notified when I upload, which is seven days a week. So, um, okay, so just got back from the grocery store. I don't have anything away yet. Okay, so the first thing I did pick up is some bar as bacon. Bacon is extremely expensive here. I don't know if it is like that everywhere else, but um, for a 12 ounce thing of bacon, it was $4. So I only picked up one, but we do enjoy bacon from time to time, so I did get that. I got some, a chopped salad kit from Dole, and it was on sale for $1.50. Um, you'll probably be seeing these in a taste test coming up soon, but they had these Halo Top um, ice creams on sale for 89 cents, and I guess they're supposed to be like a healthier option. So yeah, I did pick up a peanut butter and jelly, which has um, high protein, five grams of protein. I got a dairy-free one, which is a, this is vanilla maple and then another protein one, and it is peaches and cream. Um, got our regular hot smoked sausage. These are pretty pricey, but I only got one. It was $3.29 for this, but we can make this last two meals, so. Um, I had never heard of this, but it looked pretty good. It is Vermont cheddar mac and cheese with um, broccoli and it was on sale for $1.29 so I thought this would be good for lunch for work and then um, we really really love these Kroger um, bagged frozen vegetables they're super good and they're a dollar um, they're super good definitely recommend them I'm super excited to try these out. I've never heard of these, but these are some um, little mashed potatoes. So it's these Oridas um, little mashed potato packs. They're li really little, but it's sour cream. So I picked up two of them and they were on sale for 49 cents, but they looked good. And then just two cans of canned cat food for the boys. I did splurge a little, but you know, Halloween's coming up. Um, there was this huge, huge bag of the, this uh, Nut Lovers um, candies. So it comes with like Mr. Good Bars, Hershey's with almonds, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Originally $11.99 and I got it for $4.99, so. Thought it was a pretty good deal. You'll probably be seeing this in a taste test as well, and Sean will not be pleased with this, but pumpkin spice Twinkies. I don't know if he'll be part of this taste test because he does not like pumpkin spice, but tis the season, um, and these were $2.99, so. It's funny, he's in the background, and the minute I held it up, his face was hilarious. He's like, ew, gross, no. Um, Stouffer's um, Four Meat, so this is called the Meat Lover's Lasagna. Um, super, super good, and it's actually pretty affordable. This does have, I believe, eight servings in it. So less than, it's a little, little more than a dollar a serving, but it's really, really good, and we'll get these once in a while for a Sunday dinner. Garlic bread, that was on sale for 99 cents. I like to like cut these into pieces, like to serving sizes and freeze them so that way it doesn't go to waste. Ooh, this was a great find. So this is a four pound bag of meatballs and it was on sale for 3.29, I don't know why. They're good until June um, of 2020, but heck yeah. 
And to go with the meatballs, I did pick up some Zia Italiana pasta sauces. Um, these are only a dollar, like always. These are only a buck, and these are really, really good. They're not as good as Prego, but they're really good for a buck, so. Um, I picked up some tater tots and some pizza rolls. And then I also picked up some of the Kroger yogurts, which we always get. Sean really likes the peach. And then I really like the strawberry banana. Strawberry banana is really, really good. And then I think that is it. Oh, um, yeah, that is, oh, and then his, his Telemook meat sticks that he really likes. But that is what I picked up at the grocery store this week, and I spent about $90, uh, like 80-something dollars, so it wasn't super great, but this will last us for a little while. Um, I will probably just need to pick up some fresh items um, when next week. But yeah, this is what I got. I think I did pretty good. And oh, sorry, one last thing, chocolate milk. This was um, $2.50, which our chocolate milk here is usually like almost $5, so, but yeah, chocolate milk. So that's what we got. Um, but anyway, let me know down below in the comments. Do you like the grocery shopping haul where you actually see me do like in the store going grocery shopping? Or do you like this kind of sit down while I unbag stuff? Let me know down below in the comments, but Thank you so much for coming back and watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, what are some things that you always get at the grocery store? Sound off down below in the comment section. I'd love to know. I'm always looking for new things to try. And uh, don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. I should have another video that should start auto-playing here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. So yeah, I'll see you here.